Savara from Scrappy Mania and today I have a little different project I'm just playing around with my paints I'm also using as you can see there I, I was using some soft pastels as a watercolor medium and I discovered this because way back when I was a stamping up consultant one of the things that was they would teach us is to use our blending pens with our um, with our pastels our stamping up pastels and use it to color in images on our stamps and I thought you know I can probably do the same thing just with these regular soft pastels and it does work the only thing is the chalk it when it dries it's still kind of chalky so you'll get some of that residue on your fingers so what I tend to do is after I do paint my project with the um, the soft pastels I go over it with my hairspray so just buy some cheap old hairspray at the dollar store and put that on your pastels and it will fix it it acts like a fix it and instead of buying paying the real expensive fix it in stuff now i would not recommend to use hairspray on layouts um, especially if you're using original um pictures but it does work well with these type of project which is just you know art journals and and mixed media projects and here you see me using a lot of different types of paint. So I use soft pastels, I use my portfolio from Crayola watercolor paints, and then I use some watercolor paints that I've put in a palette and they were from my daughter from some time ago. Um, that they, they come in little tubes and I just squeeze those tubes on my palette and I let it dry. And I every when I, you wanna use it, you just simply add water and it works very nicely. So I'm just kind of playing with all my stuff. This is the palette, as you can see there. And um, and just having fun. Of all the paints, I will say that my favorite of all the three paints that I'm using here, or the three mediums, will be my portfolio um, and these watercolor tubes. Now, these watercolor tubes, you can buy them. They're pretty inexpensive at Michael's. And you can buy the little tubes and for about $4.99 and you get a good good price on it. Now the only thing with watercolors you can see there, I'm trying to smear some of this gesso and it does smear the colors when you do that. So um, I think what I'm going to do next time, I'm just going to put a, a, a layer of hairspray and then smear some of the gesso on and we'll see how that works. And I'll let you know if that works very well or not. I was going to stamp their face with some Peachy King stamps that I purchased, but it didn't work. Their, their faces are too small, so I hand drew the faces, now, and I used a, my black pen to do that. So here, I'm almost at the end of here, and I'm just putting some borders on my page, and I'm almost done with this project. Okay, so I'm done with my art journal, so this is one of my pages, and I was just having fun. I didn't have any rhyme or reason. Now, this project here was inspired by the Fugger Crafter. She did show a video how to create some of these um, flowers, and she does a better job. This is the first one that I made, 
look at her video. I'll put the link to her video. She does. She's an incredible artist, and she does very good watercolor art. And um, she makes it seem like anybody could do it, and you can do it. I mean, you're not going to do it as perfect as she does because she has a lot of years doing this. But it did come out. I did. I do like how it came out, and it looks kind of. It looks kind of cute. I did put some glitter paint on top. And then I went over here and there was another artist that has inspired me too called Jenny Bell. And in one of, one of her episodes of Mixed Media, she just was having fun and she just put a lot of paper and paint and just, you know, started splattering stuff on top of her, her paper and it came out very nice. And at the end, what she did is she drew a little um, doll face of a doll with and colored it in and it looked very very nice so I thought I would do the same thing you know I just splatter some paint and kind of played around with my different medium and instead of just um, drawing the doll myself I went ahead and used my Prima stamp to put my two dolls there and then I use of course my Prima clay pieces that I've showed you how to create in another video and I Place that on the page now a tip for my for your prima clay if it's a large piece like this one is my large piece of prima clay you it does because it was thin it does warp a little bit so in order to prevent that the next time that I do one of these pieces I am going to allow it to dry um, with a fl on a flat surface so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wax paper on the piece underneath then a wax paper on top and then I'm going to lay maybe a, a book or something on top and let it dry for a couple days like that. And hopefully that will make sure that my piece dries nice and flat. I can still use this. I, will, I am going to use it in a layout so watch for the layout where I use this clay piece. And I'm just going to use it like that. It's, it just has a little dimension. Same thing as my Little Mermaid. The same thing happened. It warped a little bit. But it will still work. See, as you can see, and I can see a mixed media project with that there. It'll look fine. And you can use it for a shadow box. This will be very nice. And actually, my niece um, is redoing her, her room, so I might make a little shadow box with some paper and embellishment. It maybe looks like a underwater scene. And I'll put my little mermaid on there, and that will look very nice. But, you know, the smaller pieces came out pretty, pretty good. As you can see, these, these are pretty flat. They're perfect for albums. And here's another one. You know, they came out pretty flat, as you can see there. This one, her legs did not come out as flat as I would like it to have come out. But still, I will use it somehow in my project. But they came out pretty good. So these are my Prima Clay pieces, as you can see here. So I decided, and I made a bunch of these little clay pieces as well and I decided to use it on this project and I am going to create some Valentine cards using these so that's gonna be good I hope you like this video on just pull out a, a some paint pull out an old art journal and just have fun you know create something whatever you want to create and and have a good old time um and Thank you for watching. Bye now.